Mr. Secretary, there have been reports that um, Iraqi troops are moving in a convoy south of Baghdad toward Marines. Do you have any information about that? It, it, apparently those reports popped up uh, on television uh, after General Myers and I left the, I guess he's not here, left the Pentagon about three or four hours ago. And uh, here he is. Dick Myers. What, they're asking about this column that was reported coming south. Do you want to? Well, our disadvantage is we've been. Uh, the mic, please. Our disadvantage is we've been in, involved in discussions here, uh, both, both the House and the Senate, for the last several hours, so we're not fresh on that. We understand there are a few vehicles that are coming south uh, from Baghdad uh, towards uh, the Karbala Gap, I guess, would be the general directions, and they're being engaged as, uh, as we find them. And it won't matter whether it's day or night, we'll be able to find them. We don't think they're armored vehicles, they're light vehicles of some sort. Can you tell us anything about the North with respect to the paratroopers opening up the Northern Front? Trying to think of what we want, might want to say about that. Um, just as I said earlier, we are increasing the number of forces in, in the country uh, every day. We're increasing them in the north, we're increasing them in the south, and we're increasing them in the west. Central Command will be looking into that to see if that was, uh, if there were targets around that area and so forth. They'll do a thorough investigation. I mean, it's just as likely it was. Uh, some piece of uh, equipment from uh, from the Iraqi forces that was was ours. We'll just have to check into it and find out. And we'll do a we'll do an investigation on that. Mm -hmm. General Myers, can you comment on the apparent role of the paramilitary, the Fedayeen?